Welcome everyone, my name's Dom, and as promised, here is my two week, like mid review, I guess, <laughs> of switching to the Google Project Aura as a daily driver phone. So let's get into it. Okay, so to start things off, it's it's a little unfair to kind of judge this phone uh, with, with modern standards. Like to a degree, I think it's fair, um, but a lot of the time when I was working with the phone, it was more or less trying to visualize if the phone had come out, you know, a few years ago, like what it would have, you know, what it would mean today. And so like some of the stuff that, you know, I, like I've noticed with this phone is obviously it's its dimensions and its size are, um, are it's it's a girthy phone. Like it's a, it, it's a big boy. And while those dimensions in and of themselves make things like putting it in your pocket, not necessarily as, you know, as nice as a really thin phone, that does make it it have its perks for one and this is gonna be a really goofy one it's easy to sit up flat on its edge to watch like YouTube videos like it's it's interesting how how well this phone kind of sits on um, sits on tables and stuff and and kind of just putting it on the side like if you're sitting at your desk or something you want to prop it up like a little TV you don't need a kickstand you don't need you know anything additional you can just like watch a video which is really cool that being said however this phone does not have uh, the stereo speaker functionality while you could at the time uh, of development of this phone get speaker modules for the back it still doesn't deliver i think what has become kind of a, a modern uh, convenience not, not convenience not a novelty but sort of like a modern standard of having that that stereo speaker uh, kind of uh, kind of set up like the iphones have and uh, samsung phones have it's uh, and it's it's interesting how sort of mute the phone itself sounds and just it doesn't have like that that, that big booming sound that you get from a lot of modern day phones However, again, you could put modules on the back to be speakers and that definitely could have helped with the experience. So I won't, I won't knock it there. The next thing is um, performance. Again, it's an older phone, but surprisingly performance on this phone is really good. Now I have this weird bug going on right now with the apps after doing a factory reset to the phone and, uh, and, and updating all the apps, the icons are like all gone. And that could just be because of the particular version of Android and, and it's unique like development nature um, that there's just a bug going on that, that couldn't uh, really be resolved. So it's just using the stock like Android app. I've looked up a few, um, like like fixes for this problem and I found a couple things but nothing nothing has worked so if you know what could be going on with the icons with this phone definitely let me know in the comments below but I mean all things considered the performance on this phone interacting with apps on the phone everything like that has been has been good like it's and, and it feels surprisingly good in the hand it's not a super wide large phone it's just thick but that that surprisingly has led to like a good a good hand feel and while the modules you know and they are test modules they don't like lack on real tight um, something real firm something you would expect from more of a premium phone that does make it feel kind of like like shaky and weird and it does really make you fear dropping this thing I haven't dropped it yet I don't want to drop it because of its of its unique nature and I don't want anything to happen to it but it would be interesting um, to see like what the final version of this phone would have been like uh, to handle some of the drop tests and stuff like that because the modules do pop out and while the you know the module swapping and stuff is uh, is fairly simple like you just effectively press this button here, this Aura button, it brings up a menu, it shows you the different modules and you can select your module, you turn the phone over, they pop out with some kind of like magnet spring type mechanism. You can get them out with this little eject hole here um, up at the top and you just like put a paper clip in there and then it like pops out. But like the modules themselves stay firm, but they don't feel like they're gonna, they're gonna stay in there unless you want them to come out again that doesn't really in, impact the experience um, but it is it is something that it, it is something that you notice it is definitely something that you notice you get used to it after a while so not a deal breaker but you know just just one of those things moving into another big thing uh the battery life so that's a, that's a big thing for a lot of people the battery on this phone it has it has two batteries right so it actually has an internal battery and then an external battery that you can you can swap out which is kind of a really awesome feature. You get uh, you, you get the best of both worlds. Having that internal battery means you have a nice large battery that can hold a charge for a really long period of time and you don't have to worry about that. And then, you know, if you do need a charge, you can swap out an external battery and then you can keep going, uh, keep going on with your day. That being said, this particular phone has some weird things going on with the battery. The battery life is decent, but the charge rate is 
horrendous. Um, and that could be just because it has two batteries, but even using like a fast charger, which this thing I don't believe supports fast charge, it, uh, it, it definitely takes a really long time to charge this phone. And this particular phone is really picky about which chargers you plug into it. Like it doesn't do, it doesn't seem to want to accept uh, uh, chargers um, uh, of certain, like of certain types. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, and if the phone is off and you plug it in, it has this kind of like development boot up sequence that it goes through um, where, you know, you see, you see some kind of like, like safety men or not safety menus, like boot menus that lets you pick different options. And then it goes into the, into Android and the operating system and all that stuff all that stuff goes on like normal but to get the phone into that state if the phone is dead or the phone has been turned off if you plug in another charger like if you plug in the wrong charger it, it seems to have a hard time booting up i'm not exactly sure why that's happening i'm trying to figure it out but i do have one charger that uh, has been very reliable and the phone seems to like but you know again battery life has been decent it's been fair it, it's it's nothing to brag home about but you know it's a development unit i'm sure there was other optimizations that were intended to help improve battery life considering this phone's size i would have uh, anticipated it having a bigger battery that would have uh, allowed the uh, the like the you know the the day-to-day -day use uh, the, the battery life of the phone to have gone on a lot longer than it does but also this is an older battery and because it's proprietary and you can't find any others that could you know the battery could just be old and aged and that could have uh, a big impact on this thing's performance as far as that goes but i mean all in all all things considered uh it's not too bad it's not too bad so i'll, I'll give it a pass there after that signal strength has been fine um internet speeds have been fine it connects to wi-fi it connects to bluetooth it makes phone calls fine speaker quality as far as phone calls and all that stuff go those are fine like overall the phone has been fine like it would have been a very usable uh, a usable phone for a lot of people and uh, you know the without seeing the modules and i've been doing that whole pretending thing like i talked about in my other video um that the module something else yeah that, that doesn't work out too well because without having another device to kind of simulate you know like if i put my iphone on the back of this phone and like act like i'm paying with it like it's just it, it's it's goofy and it's dumb it doesn't work out too well so i more or less scrapped that idea but i can see the potential for a lot of the different modules that could have been with this phone again adding an additional processor would have been a cool would have been a cool module upgrade speakers cameras that would have been probably the best module for this phone is uh is additional cameras because if a lot of people buy a new phone uh, for a camera upgrade this is not only faster um but it's it's going to be cheaper and in addition if you break your camera which is you know an often thing that or a, a common thing that can break on a smartphone um, outside of the screen, which I'll get into the screen in a minute, but you know, just being able to swap out your, your camera module, having different camera modules for different zooms instead of having like that huge camera array um, on all the modern phones, which maybe you don't use all those cameras. Maybe you don't use wide angle. Maybe you don't use a zoom, or if you do, it's like a tiny, tiny percentage of the time having those different modules ready to go. It kind of has like a DSLR type thing. You can have different lenses and what have you. There's a lot of potential as far as this phone being a camera and kind of being whatever it is that you want to be if you want like a loud ass phone that just goes off you can put you know cover it in speakers if you want better gaming performance you could have put on uh, different performance modules if you wanted a special like again a camera for like ar or whatever like there was there's a lot of potential here like definitely this concept is very cool that being said one of the things that i was surprised to find was that this phone and the screen, the screen itself is not necessarily modular. Now I do have, um, there is an old, there's another model of this phone that had a different type of screen connector. This one uses a ribbon cable, but uh, the one before it had like a sort of like a hard plug, uh, a hard plug type ordeal. So you just drop the screen on and then it would make, make connection on the two contact points, like the screen, like there was no ribbon cables, long story short. And the, you can unscrew the screen from the back of the phone, you take the modules out, you take the can you take the battery out, and you can un you can take the screen out, and uh, and that all works fine. You can replace the screen that way, but having this phone in a state with a hot swappable screen, in the event you need something with higher resolution or different color or whatever the reason might be, if you break it, just a general way to replace it, like making this phone truly a, you know, at the end of like this is the only phone you need. Um, that that concept really translates well with that phone, and I I gotta give I gotta give uh, Google and, and, and the Google and the engineers credit with this. Um, it's it, it it had potential. It's unfortunate that the project itself went the way that it did. I mean that about sums it up for right now. And I don't anticipate that the next two weeks 
uh, using this phone is really gonna yield anything different. I'm gonna continue to use it and uh, see if there's anything else that I notice. But long story short, I think that video is more or less gonna be a lot like this one. Uh, I'll try to kind of summarize everything instead of just the, the discoveries. But as of right now, without the modules, um, there's really not, I mean, it's an Android phone. Like it's an Android phone with a unique body shape and some cool features. Um, and then the modules of which I don't have. So uh, a little uneventful, I know. Um, but again, you know, I, I, I appreciate you guys for, for checking out the channel, for checking out these videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please throw a like on it. Definitely consider subscribing so you can kind of see my complete review of the phone when it comes out in, uh, in two weeks as of, as of filming this. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the phone. Is there anything you want to know about the phone down in the comments below? And uh, yeah, as always, guys, talk to you soon.